that same bitch that a slice of niggas tires. Look him in his face, say I love him, I'm a liar. I love how he tricky, wanna put me in designer. I'ma make him work for the cookie nigga work. So, oh my God, I was about to really just. First off, good morning to you guys. How are y'all feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. Today, I'm gonna be going to a day party. Um, it's like a lesbian day party out here. I've been going, I didn't, I went to the last one, I didn't vlog it though, but. Y'all know I'm on my I'm back on my grizzly, so I'm vlogging everything. So I'm gonna be vlogging all day today, and I'm gonna just drop this vlog tomorrow. Um, but I literally am going to that. It was sold out, but my friend had got us tickets, so I'm like, bitch, I'm in there. So I'm gonna have me a good time with doing that today. So I need to go ahead and get dressed and actually get my clothes on and stuff. So yeah. Okay, so again, I'm starting off with my breakfast. You guys see it pretty much. It is turkey bacon i put it in the oven this time because i have like this little tray thing that i really actually like so that works out i already heat this pan up and i know it's probably definitely too hot and i'm just making my eggs and then literally this. so i'm gonna call y'all back okay so I just want to let you guys see this real quick because I thought this was pretty cool for like a letting y'all know what's going on. So I have filmed a video, I think in my last vlog, and it was this particular video that I had got filmed for me. So with me doing like production and things behind the scenes, I I love when an editor sends me. So you guys, I am so excited let me to take this. I love when an editor sends me this on this program. Because when they do, I can go through and pretty much do my first draft. And what I do is I hit it and then I leave a comment. And every timestamp of where I leave a comment at is where they'll go back and fix it. So that makes like the editing process so much more easier. And it's crazy because it says my ex's name right here. And it's because I think when I first started using this account, it was in her name. Or I put it in her name or something. So that's why her name is on the side. I'm only saying that because I don't want people to be like, oh, I see her name. Da, 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 da. What is that? But that's not a chat between us. That is literally me comment and into the other um video editor um pretty much of giving my insight of things that i feel like should be changed around about that but i definitely love doing this but this is what i was doing this video is about like 40 minutes i believe and it's taken me a couple you know a little few hours to go through and just kind of make my edits and stuff but yeah and then also i put a mini clip of this into my last vlog and it played it with no music so try i'm playing it again with the music because the music sets the tone so yes i will be playing it again for y'all real quick Wow. 
So, boo boos, hey, how y'all doing? Um, I'm about to get ready, but before I start my day, I want to tell you guys about the subscription service, Semper. Y'all know I've been loving Semper, especially since I've been on my designer perfume scents. And just how y'all got a subscription on Netflix and you see a bunch of different shows on there, Semper actually has uh, 600 different brands on there as well that you can try out and test. And the size that they're giving you guys is generous. It's eight times the freaking size of a normal perfume scent tester this scent bear packaging bottle i want to just try these scents out and smell them real quick because y'all know i need to know and i let's get y'all the tea on the scents because y'all know the scents is my thing so this first scent i have is commodity book they give you this little paper as well which i love because it has a brief description on the back of it and then it kind of tells you the ingredients of what's in the scent so you can smell it and tell okay with this one i'm getting like a woodsy smell and it has like a little bit of sweetness to it. It smells good. This is like a very grown and sexy smell. I would wear this if I'm going to dinner or something like that. Oscar de la Rente Alibi one. I love that they're giving you the whole vibe of what it's giving. Mmm, this is very similar to um, Prada Candy, but it has a very great, sweet, oh my God, so sweet. I love this one. Yeah, I really like this one. So far, this is my favorite. And then this is the last one. It's called Commodity Gold. Mm, it just smells like so light. It's like lightweight. Like, you know how you smell somebody it's not heavy at all? Like, it's just got a faint scent, but it's still impactful enough. That's what this definitely is giving. So, ooh, I like this one. So, my first favorite is the Oscar de la Rente Alibi. The second favorite is the Comet Commodity Gold. And then, this one I like, Commodity Book. But y'all know, I'm a fun girl. And all you have to do is pay $16 a month to try new fragrances. And they have big name fragrances on there. Sar as Versace, Dolce & Gabbana, baby. You better get to it. But like I said, definitely don't forget to use my code. Amazon Tay 55 for 55% off. And uh, there it is. <laughs> Here, y'all know I've been wearing my little half up, half down. So what I want to do is do like a half up, half down pony. I really want to do a half up, half down ponytail. But last time I put the half up, half pony on with my um shit it was already on my head but this time i want to do it a lot easier so my bitch you know i got time to keep trying to figure out this hair so this time i just put on my mannequin and i'm just gonna press it up and straighten it up as much as possible so this all the hair that's gonna be up Unless I'm cutting it for more baby hairs. And yeah. So with me, I'm going to brush this out. And then put it in a ponytail and then smooth it up. Girl, like, I don't know what I'm doing, but I do. I promise I do. Okay. And put it in like a little makeshift ponytail. Just so I can use my wax stick. And my other stuff to slick it down because i pretty much got my part and everything correct i just want to like trim it up so i'll be back when i'm like basing it and then after this little party baby i'm staying in the house for a little bit because i can't just keep coming outside like this i have i have to um don't get me wrong i love to turn up ow Bro, I let it turn up, bitch. I just got priorities. Okay. Ow. Okay, let me make sure my ponytail's in the middle. Period. So, I'm literally about to lay this shit like this. And probably had this curled the opposite way. So I'll put this this way down like this. All right, so I'm about damn near done to be honest. I'm about to spray some spray and put some glue. I know it's gonna be on my butt. I would do just my Janet spray, but girl, I'm gonna be sweating and I know it. I'm like, bitch, I'm not even gonna play with myself like that. No. And then June's supposed to be on her way here. 
And once June are away, hopefully she was here. Cause I'm damn near done. I just gotta figure out what outfit I'm gonna wear. Okay. And they show them here, over here. I'm gonna put this here. Okay. So I'll be back once I lay my hair, but it's damn near done, to be honest. Yo, I done finally came out of the house. I know you don't got this heat on. I'm gonna beat your ass. Oh my god, keep the heat on. I don't care. Yo, look at me. <laughs> One thing about it, just gonna think she gonna bop me around up in this uh, Mustang friend. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. Uh, I'm not even go, I'm going to speed <laughs> No, you is not. I know you ain't. Girl, I tried to do my hair. I did something different, but I like it. I just gotta fluff it and fix it when the car is stopped. Cause you know this speed bracer. If, right. if the shoe fits, bitch. One thing about my friend, <laughs> Jew whole life is just an aesthetic bitch. <laughs> like, why would you not have the top down, bitch? <laughs> like, why would you? Oh shit! I lost the, I what lost did the you GPS. lose? The GPS. Girl, I thought this was my um, computer case cover. What's it? How does it look like this? Period. Okay, well we on our way to the party, so I'm gonna see y'all when I get there if I make it. <laughs> Not now, bitch in the world. It's giving balls, bitch. It's giving balls, bitch. Not you I'm so sorry. We ate everything up. And I forgot to turn the camera on. Come on, friend. We turn putting the top down and we put we taking pictures with the pole. So we can look like we a part of the 90s. Do you want some? You know when we be going out, we forget to take pictures because we be cute. Bitch. Bye. Do you hear me, Joan? Yeah. Oops. Excuse me. Sure. Have a nice Bye. Oh my God. So I was saying, I forgot to put my camera on because June be talking. Ooh, my June, did you have fun tonight? I 
did. I wish it would have uh, been a date for me at night party, though. It is an after party, but do you want to go? Absolutely. Let me, when we get to the car, I'm going to DM this girl. I don't like how my ass is out. Well, the niggas is loving that ass, bitch. Hi, you talking about the restaurant? I didn't get him. Why this bitch left her keys at a driver? Look at my child. She sound little and shit. Hi, Dino. You want to come home with me? Sure will. You she don't sound like she's about three feet tall. In the morning, though. <laughs> Zion said you sound like you about three feet tall. Shut up. Bitch, you do sound like a little hoe. <laughs> she said she a big stepper. Where you <laughs> going, Park? Oh, huh? You couldn't get in? Yeah, I could get it with my keys. <laughs> <laughs> well, bitch, I brought it. I got to go now. I'm in my gym. Right, bitch, why is my camera so zoomed in? What? I don't know when the fuck that happened. But, child, let's get into it because why? Baby, let's get into it because why so many bitches was on me? Like, I know I'm fine and don't get me wrong. I know I look the fuck good, bitch. I know that. But they was like, it was just another level tonight. I'm just like, what? Like, I'm talking about left and right, left and right, left and right. Like, it was like, bitch, it was like a bitch here, 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 bitch here. I'm like, damn. So, child, the hose was on me. I'm like, period. And then, I had a good night, but then, girl, while I got in the house and I was trying to do my ending remarks, which y'all, like, I normally do, bitch, while I was trying to do them, I took it upon myself to realize I don't have my camera, so then I called June. I'm like, June, I left my camera, so I'm like, I got to come in your house and get it because I got to upload this vlog by tomorrow. Should I, all right, bet. Girl, why? Excuse me. Girl, why? Um... Uh, then I'm drinking juice. I'm like, what is that? Girl, why? Um, then I realized I had June left her keys in my purse and I left my camera in her car. And June's supposed to go to Vegas tomorrow. And I was like, should I go? Because I was thinking about going with her. And bitch, that was the whole situation. So, <sighs> child, yes. Um, so I had to go get my camera and give her her keys and then come back. But I had an overall really, really good night. I had fun. It was lit. It was turned up. Like, it was fun, to be honest. But, you know, I feel like with me, like, I like to go to parties. Um, but I just don't like to become... This is another part of, like, Bad Bitch Chronicles. I feel like with the L.A. gay scene, like, don't get me wrong. It's cool here. It's nice. It's fun. It's vibey. But it's not that big. And also, you know how with gay events, like, if you go to Atlanta and you go to, um, like, Boss Brit events, it's, like, that same crowd of people. Then you go to Yanni's events, and it's the same crowd of people. Like, I'm talking about promoters, like, gay promoters. And then you come to L.A., and you got P-Nasty parties, and they're all kind of, like, the same group of people. And give or take, they're cool as fuck, and they be vibey and stuff. But the thing about it is, like, I don't want to become too accessible. <laughs> And when you say that, like, when I say too accessible, it's like, I don't want it to get to a point where it's like, P Nasty come in the party this weekend. I know Tay will be up in that bitch because Tay come to every single party. Even though I don't come to every single party, I feel like they just started back throwing their parties. I'm like, it was cool. But the last three weekends in a row, I did go to every single party. Like, but it was different. So, like, last weekend, it was the gay strip club. And then this weekend was the day party. And then the weekend before that, I went to, I think, the day party. So it was perfectly fine. But it's just like, child, I ain't trying to be known everywhere. So with me, I like to mix it up. So it's not like, and that's just not even what get, well, the gay scene do be very small. So it's like, I just, you know. But I feel like I also like to go to other little places too so when i just mix it up it's like you don't know to expect me or not to expect me because i feel like when you got people expecting you to be somewhere like first off that's not safe second off it's like hey first off that's not safe <laughs> and second off it's like 
girls only but so many people like bitch i don't want y'all i want to stay exclusive like i don't want you to get sick of seeing my motherfucking face <laughs> you know what i mean so i do be having a good time i ain't gonna lie you wanted to get up here in my lap why did you miss me or you just want to be a little baby tonight <laughs> i was like i don't know how much y'all getting so thick because um I've actually kind of started doing portion control with her food because I feel like she was, she was getting, let me close your ears. She was getting a lot of weight. And I was like, bitch, um, where's it coming from? And I was like, maybe she's not active enough. So then that's when, I mind you, I love her when she's thick, but I want her to be healthy. I really honestly love a little, when dogs are small, I love them to be thick because I feel like they're happy and they're healthy. But I feel like she's getting old. She's about to be nine next month. So, I was like, I don't want her to, I don't want her to be unhealthy because she's getting old. You know what I'm saying? So, I was like, let me start, like, condensing her food down because I used to let her eat all day. And, um, I don't let her eat all fucking day no more because I'm like, that's just not healthy. So, I started doing, like, little portion controls, but she's just so thick. I don't know why. And I started walking, like, even on our walks now. We go on longer walks. We more do, like, a jog. So, I don't know. But I gotta work out tomorrow too, so. Bitch. Okay, but good night, y'all. See y'all. I feel like it's some type of story time I'm supposed to be telling. I thought my night, but if I think of it, I'll tell it. If I don't, then I won't. Night, bitch. Oh my gosh. Hey y'all. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are y'all feeling today? Hopefully it is amazing. Okay. Let me tell y'all. Trying to make sure my star glow don't look crazy. I was just like a serious glam gang member. Like I'm about to beat somebody up, nigga. <laughs> but um, listen. So basically, um, right now. I am on my way to work out. So I have a gym at my freaking apartment complex. But when I tell you, I haven't been there in so long, girl. I didn't even know. They had took so many machines out. Um, so the only thing they had was the Stairmaster. And the Stairmaster does not fucking work. So I'm just like, what the fuck is this? Um, so that was a no-go. Literally had to cut all that shit out. So um, me and my home... Erin been wanting me to work out with her since forever. Because, child, I really need to work out. But... And I've been doing it. As you guys see, I've been doing it. I've been taking it serious. But, child. Oh, Lord have mercy. It was just so much. So, basically, um, what I did now is I got me some meal prep people that I'm going to use to start meal prepping my food. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to start using them to meal prep my stuff and stuff like that. Um, what are you doing? Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I, like I said, I got some people to start meal prepping my food and stuff. So I'm going to just start doing that kind of stuff. Um, meal prep. Oh, what am I fucking mind talking about? I'm so sorry. So first things first, I am working out because I need to show y'all. So I think my start weight is 164. Um, when I got my BBL, I was like 182, 180-ish. And then once I got my BBL, I went down to 170. And then once I went down to 170, um, that was abruptly, like immediately as soon as I got off the table, I was at 170. And then after the 170, I went down, I lost a lot of weight. So then my normal weight is about, I went down to 150 and then I kind of started staying consistent at a rate of 164, 160. So I'm going to just meal prep. We're going to see how that go though. Cause y'all, I really need to like. I need to amp it up. I need to get my body right. I need to get my body together. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like I'm going to have to start being more strict with myself. Because, baby, this ain't cutting it. <sighs> it's not cutting it. And on top of that, y'all know I got my hosting because I'm hosting Sweet Heat um, Miami this year. So, I mean, if I'm going to be out here in my G-string. My body look good regardless. Don't get me wrong. But it's like, if I'm going to be out here in my G-string, I want to be a little tighter. Because the body physique look well. It's just I want to be a little tight. Um, you know, in the stomach area. So, we'll see. But I'm about to work out now with my homegirl. So, once I leave her, 
I believe today I gotta go to the manufacturer, so I'm gonna go there, and then I also have to go. Where else am I gonna go? Go to the manufacturer. Then I believe I'm gonna go buy my new camera equipment. Hey y'all. So what's occurred is, y'all know on my healthy journey, but I got to make sure that I'm throwing the stuff away. Oh my God, that could have been a trash. So what I'm gonna go through now and throw all this stuff away that does not suit me and being healthy and leave, it gotta go. So I'm gonna clean this whole kitchen. Hey pumpkin, come here. You gotta stand up. So I gotta throw this stuff away. I gotta put me first. I just got home. So I'm gonna see y'all in a minute because I'm about to chomp a bunch of shit in the trash. I'm starting over. My diet. I'm starting over, bitch. Oh my god, so let me show y'all the reveal. I literally went through and threw so much stuff out. Like my cabinet was never this uh open you know what i mean like it was just junky 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 but i literally went through and threw so much stuff out but i still have like a good amount of stuff in there that probably isn't the best or being the healthiest but i was like you know i might as well save it for like little cheat meals and stuff so i left it in there but i am thoroughly pleased and happy girl i got my fabuloso on here honey because i need to something smelling good and i cleaned my stove everything looks really good this is my little junk drawers so i'm gonna just throw stuff in there and then i need to wipe this down but then i went through and did my spices as well i didn't end up throwing my spices away but um i just condensed them down so i think i need to go back in though and redo them because the way i'm gonna do them is the ones i use on a regular basis the ones i use on a regular basis i'm gonna put these here and then the ones I barely use, I'm going to put them there. And that's like all my oils up there. And then I did these cups. I kind of was throwing away all my little play cups. Um, because I was just sick of having ugly cups in my house. So what I did is, these is like all my cups and mugs that people have sent me. And these is for like wine and liquor and drinks and stuff like that. And then right here, it's just like regular cups. Um, this cup is low-key bothering me. But I know when I go drinking, I always take that cup. And then... I wish I had me like a little wine rack or something to go right here. That'd probably be cute, but you know, you know how that goes. And then I have to do my calendar over. This rack, I cleaned it from all the little junk that was on it. And then this is my last little set of dishes I need to just wash. And then I put everything in the here in my clothes is washed. So yeah, I was cleaning the fuck out of everything today. Right here, um, <laughs> bitch. No, because why are we up here looking for Airbnbs and Lily gonna put an Airbnb that's like ten thousand dollars a night in the chat? I'm like, bitch, who the fuck do you think we is? Like, give or take, bitch, maybe another uh, occasion, circumstance, but bitch, ten thousand, you are out your fucking mind, girl. She's like, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to sell pussy for that. I was just playing. I said, me and did them too, bitch. And this boy, but look. So let me tell you about the wig. So basically, I'm about to work on this wig that I've been wanting to work on for a while. But a way that y'all can like maneuver your head shape with wigs is this wig fits my head perfect. Like when I laid this wig, I cut it perfect. The ear tabs is perfect, all that kind of thing. So you know, that's something like you have to really deal with. So um, basically with me, I came up with ideas like, you know, what if I put the wig on here because it lays perfectly to my head shape? And then I take it upon myself to outline it. I mean, this clearly is probably not no new trick to nobody, but to me it is. And then I'm just going to outline it. So with me laying it down and putting it down, because everything else is cool. It's just the ear tabs and all this other stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pencil. I'm going to take my pencil and outline it. Cause this lace, like I said, it fits my head perfect. And then I don't want it to be 100% accurate. Ooh, accurate. So I have to make sure that when I'm doing it, that's why I'm using my thing. So it let all this shit down. 
So let me zoom in so y'all can really see what I got going on. Cause like I said, this shit fit my motherfucking head perfect. Okay. So y'all see it and then basically I'm just going through. And I'm just gonna outline it. And this is outlining my head perfectly. Like this is the head shape for my wigs. And I'm just going through. So moving forward now, when I lay my wigs or cut the lace off, or you know how you style a wig on a mannequin head? Okay. I'm gonna put this here. I don't know, I just came up with this. I'm like, I don't know if it's gonna really work, but I'm damn sure gonna try it. But the biggest thing for me was, okay, but the biggest thing for me was, let me erase this, cause I don't need it. Okay, so the next biggest thing for me is with cutting the ear tabs. So when I go get my other wig and put it on, y'all see, hold on. So y'all see how right now, I can pretty much see where the wig guidelines is supposed to be at. You know what I'm saying? Because pretty much this is all extra stuff. So what I'm going to do right now, honestly, I want to try to do a style on this wig. We're going to see how it turn out. <laughs> I'm so nervous because I never did nothing like this, but we going to mother freaking see. But I'm just practicing. I'm not even filming it just to film. I'm literally just practicing it. Because I think I can do it. I mean, I know I can do it. It's just, I gotta do it. I'm not filming it for my channel yet. I'm gonna just try it and see. Try to see. So, I bet. I need to get all my little clips. Yeah, I'll be right back. Bitch, I'm in here trying to teach myself how to do finger waves for the first time. And I feel like I'm not doing horrible, but it's just not the best. Like, I have the mousse, but I feel like I need satin lotion, like something a little heavier, because the gel, it'd be too damn sticky. And I'm trying to like curl it all the way down, but bitch. I don't know. Y'all gonna have to see what it look like when it dry. When it dry, I'm pretty sure that's when I'll be able to tell if I'm giving, giving or not. Because right now, mm, I don't know. But I'm gonna see. Let me just try to dry it real quick. Rich, but still the same bitch that'll slice a nigga's tires. Look him in his face, say I love him, I'm a liar. I love how he tricky, wanna put me in.